So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our class live from Los Angeles. I'm Rishvik Patente. I'm going to explain now what aquaplaning literally means. But before I start this video, which is actually a publicity for our special tires, we'll ignore that publicity part, but it's very nicely explained what aquaplaning literally means. But before explaining aquaplaning, you need to understand the word which I'm writing on my Google search. I want you to write it on your piece of paper. Write this down. Bhakti Strada Delhi. Write this word down. Bhakti Strada Delhi Pneumatici. What is the meaning of Bhakti Strada Delhi Pneumatici? You need to know that first before you learn aqua planing. Is this clear? Okay, uh, you can take a screenshot. You can write it down, whatever. I prefer that you take a picture and then write afterwards after my class is over so we don't waste precious time of the live classes. So you see this, this what this person is putting here, you see? This is uh, the tire. Tires are called pneumatici, okay? The tires are called pneumatici. The wheels of the car are called ruote, ruote. This is pneumatici. The rubber tires are called pneumatici. And the designs below are called batistrada. So the deeper they are, it's like, you know, if the deeper it is, the better it is because the rubber part touches the ground. If there is water on the surface, it flows through in these holes, okay? So the rubber keeps touching the ground. The more the tire is used, which, which means ipriu ipneumatici sono usurati. Usurati means they are scratched and used. The lesser it will be contact with the with the with the floor. So the concept of aquaplaning literally means if you're driving on a road with a lot of water on it, your car loses the contact, the tire loses the contact from the road because the water comes in the middle and it starts flying like the plane. So don't say aqua planning, say aqua planing. It's like flying like a plane on surface of the water. You remember this always. Remember, I'm not just a language teacher, I'm a brain trainer. I know how to put it inside your brain, even if you want it or not. So this is the uh, pneumatici, remember, this is what it, uh, what is called Batistrada de Pneumatici. Now we'll understand aquaplaning. This is our YouTube channel of Amrish Fit Patente. You, you, it, you will be happy if you subscribe here. There are more than seven or 200 videos this can benefit from. So let's focus now on aquaplaning. Two thousand and thirteen was the wettest winter on record, making driving conditions hazardous for many. In wet weather, it's essential that your tyres have enough tread depth to remove water from the road surface so it can grip the road and stay in control. Typically, a car fitted with good tyres can clear enough water from the road to fill a bucket in seven seconds. Without adequate tread depth, you face an increased risk of your car aquaplaning, which means you could lose complete control of the vehicle. To show aquaplaning in action, we took two identical cars and fitted them with identical tyres, but with different tread depths. The car on the left has brand new tyres with a deep tread depth, while the car on the right... Okay, the word tread depth is Batistrada dei Pneumatici, okay? So you see here, the Batistrada dei Pneumatici is deep. This one is rubbed, usurato, used, consumed, not working well, old tyres, okay? These are the things. And remember, the pronunciation is aqua planing, not planning. Okay. The very famous question, because I know you know that I have, I'm doing, I'm studying motorizaciones questions since many years, so as to a, unable to understand where the foreigners are not understanding. I'm using the word understand because I also speak the language of lingua italiana. I can speak and understand those who are deaf and dumb. That's why I'm, I get. I sometimes you see my hand because I'm teaching people who are, can't hear and listen. Anyway, having said that, um, this is there's a famous question that says, Patti strada, uh, sorry, aqua planning eh, aumenta nelle strade a forte pendenza laterale. Literally, if this is a road strip, forte pendenza laterale means it's, sli it's sliding. Forte is uh, left and right, it is slanting. 
So in the strata, if a road is like this, it can never aquaplaning do, it never be there because if the rain drops, the water will slide left and right and water will never collect on the road. So it, this in a strada a forte pendenza laterale, aquaplaning is not possible. So remember this is a very famous question. Uh, Lore, all the people who are doing quiz know that it's a famous question. Aquaplaning aumenta nelle strade a forte pendenza laterale, you must say falso. Okay, remember this. If I explain something, and if, if you still don't understand, you don't need to hesitate. You can raise your hand and ask me again. I will explain to you all over again with all the patients. I have lots of patients. Right, is fitted with tires with a much lower tread depth of 1.6 millimeters, which is currently the legal minimum tread depth. Our test track has been flooded to replicate how a normal road could look after. Remember the but the minimum uh, in Italy also. The minimum battistrada, the pneumatici, you need to have how much it is. And for the cars, I'm letting you know. Autovetture is 1.6 millimeters. And for motocicli, it is 1.00 mm. Okay. I'm giving, I'm spoon feeding you. You just need to masticate. Remember that. At least do that. You take a screenshot, I'll ask you another day. Remember what I'm teaching today, Joy Frank, I will ask you tomorrow. So by law, remember, I, if I teach, I expect you to remember. A heavy downpour. Let's see how the cars and their tires cope with the hazardous conditions. Firstly, our car with deeper tread depth takes the test. The split screen clearly shows that when our driver steers the car, the wheels turn, which then causes the car to swerve on the track. Now it's the turn of our car with low tread depth to take the test. Here, the split screen shows that despite the driver steering the car and the wheels clearly turning, the car doesn't swerve on the track. Let's have another look at the car's movement on the track in a closer comparison. The car on the left has deeper tread depth and displays clear control when steered, while the car on the right has low tread depth and doesn't swerve when steered. This is because the car with low tread depth is aquaplaning. So why does this happen? This graphic demonstrates what happens when a tyre with insufficient tread depth comes into contact with too much water on the road. As the tyre doesn't have adequate tread depth, the water cannot be displaced and builds up in front of the tyre. This is the moment when aqua the car starts aquaplaning. Do you remember what I'm saying? When the car tyres keep moving, suddenly the tyre loses contact with the road and starts, the water comes in the middle and then it starts slipping and you can move your car as much as you want. You can't control the car. It will go wherever it wants. It will fly away like a plane. That is aquaplaning. Okay, once again. Tire then lifts from the road on top of the water with no direct contact with the road. The driver no longer has control of the car, which is an extremely hazardous situation. So how can you minimize this risk? An easy way to check your tread depth is to place a 20 pence piece into the main tread grooves of your tyre. Now, this is a London, UK, so they're saying 20 pence. In, in Italy, we can use a two euro coin and with the two at the bottom of the head, you put that, that's right, perfect. So you know that is a minimum tread that you need to have in Italy so that you can be safe and drive without problem. If the outer rim of the 20 p is obscured, as this one is, then your tyres are above the legal minimum tread depth. If you can see the rim above the tread, these may be dangerously low and should be checked by a tyre professional. When buying new tyres, you can also compare their wet grip performance by looking at the rating on its label. Now, so I hope you understand what aquaplaning is. Tomorrow, I will explain what is ABS. Only if you come punctually at 6.30. So if you come later, please, I will not rewind myself. You try to be punctual and safe. And one more thing I tell you, since these are live online classes and nobody is teaching you like this the way I am, at least appreciate this fact. And when you come, always I say, ask yourself before entering my class, what is the reason you're coming? Remind yourself about the, about the reason is why you're coming. And then you will know. And be happy. Because if you do anything with fear and not anger and frustration, you'll never succeed. Whatever you do, make sure you be happily. You're happy to come. You're happy to do a quiz. You should be addicted to do quiz and be happy as you would bring a video game. 
The more you do like that, the easier you will pass and exams will not be a dangerous things for you. These things you keep in mind. I give you a small story uh, to remember. This is important for you to, uh, to understand. Many years ago in, an, in, a, in a country, forget, forget which country, there have been teachers. Teachers were like very, they were, they were considered to be like small well, gods. And they, there, was, there was a, a teacher for the king and he would teach the prince how to, be, how to far, use bow and arrow and all other things. And in his school, there were other ministers, rich people's son, and one very poor boy, very poor boy. But he was nice, so he took him inside. So they were teaching bow and arrow. Now, these were small children, 10, 12 years old. He said, for a test, there is, I've put on the tree right in front, a green parrot with a red eye, wooden parrot. You must shoot the eye of the parrot from this distance. All the prince and the lords, the, the poor guy, everybody was standing in position to hit. I'm, there's a reason why I'm telling you this story. Pay attention. He asked the prince's son, what can you see? The son said, he said, yes, I can see the tree. I can see the, the sky behind the clouds and the sun is shining. And I can see the parrot and I can see the eye. He asked the next prince. He said, yes, I can see the leaves are moving. There are clouds in the sky and the birds are flying. I can see my parrot in the eye. He kept on asking till he asked the last poor boy. And he said, I can only see the eye of the parrot. What is the meaning of that? If you're focused on getting your license, then everything else will become secondary. You focus and get your license, achieve it. Just see that everything else, eating, cooking, making fufu or cleaning, your all this will become secondary. You'll come and focus, put all your heart, finish your, uh, pass the theory and then get rid of this burden Then you'll never have to study again. So I suggest all of you to be that much passionate if you want to have success quickly.